Welcome back to this series on how to make money in EVE Online. Today we're going to be going over part 3 exploration. If you guys do want a full um, depth, full length tutorial, I will link that I think over here um, in one of the cards if you guys want a more you know lengthy tutorial. But uh, this is for people who more or less know their way around EVE but just want to get started making more money. And uh, I do recommend staying to the end because I'm pretty excited. Uh, we made a lot more money than I thought in LOSEC, which previously wasn't a very good way to, you know, um, start exploring. But I think it went pretty good, this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, let's get started. To get started, let's just look at our fit here. All right, guys, usually you're going to have a cloaking device, but I am aiming this towards more of alpha players. So you probably won't have one. So we're going to go over everything else besides a cloaking device here. But uh, we can start out with our warp core stabs. We have two of those. Marker warp drive. Cargo scanner. Relic analyzer. Data analyzer. Core probe launcher and a core probe scanners. Small gravity capacitor upgrades, two of those. And one quick tip is, I recommend carrying 16 of these so you don't have to manually reload them. It uh, automatically re reloads when you launch them and uh, retract them. So once we got that done, let's go ahead and hit F10. We're going to open up our map. We need to find some place to go explore. We're going to check out high sec for now, but eventually move into low and null sec. But now we want to look for the places that are least crowded. So we can go down here to geography, average pilots in space, and let's look for somewhere that isn't red and hopefully not yellow. Down here, 25. Seven pilots doesn't look bad. We might have to move down this way into a uh, low sec. There's still a lot of people out here. I guess when starting out, maybe 20 or less is fine. Here looks decent. All right, so I'm gonna undock and head that way and see if we can find anything. If not, we'll just find another area. But that's generally how you wanna look for something. Um, it's just basically the least amount of people, the better luck you'll have finding something, something because nobody's taking it already. But I'm going to undock and head that way and we'll meet you there. Alright guys, so I hopped in the system. Um, I was just about to leave and something popped up and I didn't think it was going to be anything. But it ended up being a data site, so I can't show you fully how to scan this one, but we'll find more. But um, go ahead and hit Alt-P. And uh, we're just going to scan these signatures down. I'm going to finish scanning this now that I see what it is. And again, I'll show you more of how to scan it, but just for this example. This is one we found um, in high sight. And again, if you have any questions about exploring, I would recommend watching my full length tutorial. It goes uh, very in depth there. But here we should have one more scan, and then we can head there, and I will show you guys how to hack and then make some money. We'll probably, hopefully, we'll make a few hundred thousand. I don't know, especially in high sight. Could even be somebody there. Local, there's 22 people in local, so. Alright, let's head over there. Warp drive active. I always just say zoomed out when it works so it's not too loud. I'm gonna go over to my uh, loot tab and also if you have any questions about the overview, again I have made another video recently uh, how to set that up. Alright, so it doesn't look like anybody is here. And on the loot tab, you can uh, right click and either add or take these away from your overview. It's good to have them on because say you find something like this in the wormhole space and you're cloaked, if you get within I think 2000 meters of something, you'll get decloaked. So it's a good idea to know how far away things are. Let's go ahead and approach this, turn our afterburner on, or our micro warp drive, sorry. And I'm just holding control and I'm left clicking to target that. Then I'm gonna hit orbit or you can just click W on it. All right, so now that we're orbiting it, I'm gonna to wanna to use our data analyzer. And uh, there's a thing called the rule of six, which is a little bit harder to explain on such a small one, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to complete this hack. So I got a two, a two, two, three. So I'm getting farther away. It's basically like a hot and cold. Two, getting closer. One, so we're getting closer to what we need, and we hit one of these. So this is a uh, defense subsystem. Basically, here's the strength 
or sorry, here's the strength and here is the health. So it has 40 health. We hit 425 and we have 60 health. So once we hit it, we lose a little bit of health. But if we kill it, we don't take any damage. There we go. And then we found the system core here. So take a little bit of damage, but we have a successful hack. And I just open it up, 1.64 million. That is uh, really good for high sight, I will say. So I mean, you can see the comparison for this compared to, you know, PVE or mining. It's pretty profitable. You really need to get out to low and null set, but it gets a lot more dangerous. So definitely you want to practice in high set. So we're boosting over to this one. This one will probably, you know, give us less than 100,000. That was a pretty big uh, haul for high set. Again, we're orbiting it, hitting our data analyzer. Start from the top, that's a one. That means we're close to something good. Boom. This is a, um, it looks like self-repair. I don't call things by their name, so that's why I have to take a second to read it. Basically, when you click this and then click around, each, um, each turn will repair you. See, it went up a little bit more, went up a little bit more. So those are really good when you've um, gotten hit by one of these and you need to get some health back. So these, these can be good or bad, the data caches. They can either have a virus in them or they can have um, something good like that, a subsystem. So we can use the subsystem kernel rot on this, cuts it in half, and we killed it. Boom, system core. And open this up, 500,000. Again, I guess they uh, put in some more loot in there because that's pretty good. What is that, two million so far? All right guys, so we're in a new system. There's a few people here, shouldn't be uh, any worry. We're still on high sec. But I'm gonna show you guys how to narrow these down. So if you're just landed on the gate, double click so you come out of your cloak. Let's go ahead and launch some of these probes and put them over the red circles. For here, there's two of them pretty close to each other. So I'm gonna make them larger and try to take two for one here. And you do have skills and um, modules that can help you scan faster but I'm using one of my lower skilled characters just to show what it would be like for you guys. Alright so this one's the strongest so we're going to go with that first. You can double click on this to center it. We're going to drag our probes over it. Make it smaller. You can also do it over here. Make it smaller and scan again. And also I was double clicking from when I went to the top to the side if you guys wanted to know that. Let's see what it is. Wormhole, we don't need that right now. We might want to come back to that. Might be able to show you guys how to sneak into a wormhole, but I wouldn't recommend it with the uh, not a cloak on. So same thing here, centering it, and then we're just scanning it. Hopefully one of these three will be a data or relic sites. Relic sites are usually more profitable. Gas site, no value to us. We're just making this bigger fitting it around the sphere and scanning. Another one popped up while we were scanning too. So you're just gonna keep doing that until you see what it is. Wormhole, we don't need it, so let's go check out the one that just popped up and see if it's uh, anything good. And this will be most of your time exploring. You pay is good, but it's uh, hard to find something, so you're going to spend most of your time scanning and finding nothing, but then you get really excited when you find a you know big old relic site. Combat site not needed so we scanned four things and didn't find anything and again that is very common drive active. so we're just gonna go to the next uh, system so we'll see you there all right guys so we hopped into a low sex system with a lot of cosmic signatures so i have a feeling this is going to be a good um a good place to scan but uh we don't want to get killed since we're in low sex so Warp let's drive active. go ahead and jump out and launch our probes I'm just going to do a big general scan here just to see if I can narrow anything down. There's only two people local, so I think this is going to be something uh, pretty good for us. All 
right, so I just like to scan the ones highest to lowest. And again, you always um, want to be watching your D-scan, which you should probably have up a lot more than I do, but I was in high sec, so I wasn't too worried about it. But you can pop this out, and I throw it down here. Because we should be using this now that we're uh, out of high sec, not as safe. Combat site, ignore it. Give that one a shot. Six people, it's getting busy, so might be time for us to uh, get out of here. Oh, relic site? Not too fast. Also, I see a capsule, so some people are fighting. Alright, so this is a relic site. This is really good. Um, this pro is probably going to meet us there. So I'm trying to get there as fast as I can because they're usually um, scanners as well for the Mimitar, I think. I'm just uh, oh, hitting D scan. I was wondering why I wasn't going, my chat was going. All right, let's head over there now. Drive active. We recall our probes and head out there. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, we'll make a good amount of money out here. Poor people. This guy has a. He just got potted. So this probe scanning as well, so I really want to get these done before he gets over here. So we're going to approach him, and we're going to use our micro warp drive and start cargo scanning. Because once once he's out here, and then he just um, brought them in, he's probably going to show up any second. It's a fair play here. Remains, and I think rubble are going to be better, but I think remains are the highest in a low sec. Yep, he's here. Hopefully he's not going to attack me. Hopefully he'll leave. You never know. So I'm going to do these pretty fast. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, if I start getting attacked, that will suck, but... Ooh, I failed it. Alright, we're going to try again. He's pretty far away, so I don't know if he's going to jump here with more people. This cargo scan in as well to see how much is in here. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with how low it is. He's still saying pretty far back, so I don't know if that's good or bad. 33 million? Um, wow. Low set? Jeez. I mean, if we get this and get out, that'd be a pretty. Yeah, he left. Oh, these are terrible. You never want to get these. it once so if we hit it again it's gonna hit us for 45 we need to find something else like that if we hit it we get it all right guys 33 million wow that was a uh... also seemed like it got louder so sorry if it did that was a lot of action we had somebody here with us we almost failed it but we got the hack done so again that's why I said I wanted to get there because in low sec He's probably still a newer player, so he didn't want any uh, trouble most likely. But if I see anybody else um, on here, I'm warping off to a gate immediately, if it's not a, a little frigate. $147,000. Nothing of value to me. Sorry, I didn't really talk through the last one because I was really focused on getting that before I died. Yeah, that's why I went to the remains first, because you have to know which ones are worth more, because say I was on the one for 140000 and I had to leave, I leave all that money to him. But that is awesome. We're finding uh, good money here. 
I just cycled this once. We should be able to coast in here. Cause I hate flying by it, you know what I mean? Okay. Should be able to start scanning. There we go. Cargo scan it. Orbit. Hopefully give us a little bit. Hopefully a few mil, but on debris it's usually not worth that much. Yeah, 88,000. I guess I'll show you guys just for example. Again, one, one. Something's good is in between there, but I don't know if we're gonna find it. Two, one. There's something up there. I guess we can figure it out. Alright, so we'll grab that, quick money, and jam. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I guess we can scan this other one. Put my probe still out. I'll scan this other one just to see, but I'm going to target Jita and start heading back after this. I'm going to orbit it, scan it. There's only a few people in the system now, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Two million, that's pretty good. So we'll take it a little bit easier. A little slower, three, two, one, something good. I have a feeling something's down there. I think, yeah, I think it is right over here. Yep. Two million, awesome. So we're gonna watch D scan. Let's just, uh, I guess we can finish this scan over here before we leave. Definitely don't wanna get killed with all the loot we have. We've only done, uh, what, two or three sites? And how much do we have so far? 38 million, that's a lot more than it used to be. Um, I personally didn't even think we'd make that much, so hopefully you guys see this and start going out to do this to, um, for yourselves. All right, wormhole, so F10. Let's target Cheetah. Oh, I already had it typed in. Cheetah, Moon 4, Kaldari, Navy Assembly. Alright, I'm going to set that as my destination and I will see you guys when we get there so I can show you guys how to sell this. Alright, guys, now that we are back in Jita, the place we can sell it, let's go over what we got and how to sell it and I guess the two different ways to sell it. So, before. Uh, we do this, we're gonna wanna clear our inventory space, our item hanger. So I'm just gonna get all this, throw it into our gear, boom, we're clear. So now we can control A, and then I'm just gonna control click this because we're gonna want these next time. Control A, grab these, put them in our item hanger. And I'm gonna show you for example, for metal scraps, you can right click, sell this item, and you can either sell it immediately for 2.3 thousand where you can put it on for a day and try to get more or less depending on the asking so if you really want to wait you can go to market details you can see what people are what they're buying at instantly or what they're selling at depends so it looks like right now at the station if you want to put it up you would put it up for 1.24 you'd be getting a little bit less if you're selling instantly so I always sell immediately because I don't want to sit here and you know micromanage while people drop the price by a penny. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, click the top one, shift click the bottom one, sell all items immediately. It should, yeah, there we go. Should start to stack all these up. And we should get uh, somewhere roughly around here. Could be more, could be a little less. Up. There you go, just a little less because uh, prices do fluctuate. So all you have to do is hit sell, and that's okay. Boom, money goes straight in. So that was a pretty good um, little haul we had there for for low sec. So I guess it shows you guys low sec could be profitable too. It didn't used to be that much. High sec, not um, used to basically didn't get anything, but low sec and high sec are starting to become more profitable, especially for people just starting out. But 
I think you guys really should give this a try. You saw the other methods. This is my favorite. It's a little more action for me, but I mean, I hope this did help you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Um, I will be answering all questions, but I do hope you guys did enjoy. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.